Hi, and welcome. I'm Krista Embry with Real Time Animal Rescue. You're going to hear about a very heartwarming story, one of 1,400 miles, a cat named Steve who makes his way home. Two ladies who had never met, but through a phone call, become very good friends. Please welcome Fluffy Casalaz from Save Our Strays in Tampa Bay, Florida, and Janice Bresnahan in New Hampshire. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Tampa. Thank you, Krista. Janice, we want to start with you. If you could share the story, take us back seven years ago. Oh boy. So seven years ago, I get a call from my daughter saying, you just have to see this little kitten. And this little kitten is pure white with the biggest blue eyes that you've ever seen. And um, they didn't stay blue, unfortunately. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, so we went and saw him. We brought Gavin with us and we went and saw this little kitten and we brought him home. And he quickly just attached himself to Gavin and um, they did everything together. They slept in the same bed. They watched TV together. They played video games together. Um, you name it. Um, but unfortunately, Steve suffered from a lot of allergies. And so he had some neck wounds and um, we were trying to heal those, but he wasn't fond of the treatment and he scooted out the door. And that was, I thought it was four years ago when I was talking to everybody, but I saw the vet and um, it was March 20. And um, so Gavin was convinced that Steve was out there somewhere and that we should keep looking for him every day and every time we saw a white cat we'd have to see if it was Steve and it never was. Um, I was kind of convinced that he was probably not with us anymore and so time went by and um, Gavin left us <laughs> in January of 2022. Um, I'm so sorry Janice. I'm sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I get a little choked up with that one. <laughs> no. um, and then I was sitting Last Saturday, I was sitting watching some of my other grandchildren play soccer and got a phone call that said, Land Lake, Florida. And I went, that's spam. <laughs> and I didn't answer it. And then I see that they left a message and it was um, um, the shelter down in Florida, Pat Pasco County, saying that they had found Steve. And um, when would I like to come pick him up? <laughs> and I was like, well, it's not around the corner. <laughs> So that's, and then everything, all the craziness began to get him home and all the wonderful, amazing people that got together and made that happen. And now, and now we, we bring in Fluffy, how the two of you met. <laughs> Fluffy, tell us from that story, what a lead in. Right. Well, it was actually uh, tip my ear, uh, TNR and rescue here um, in the area that uh, they had contacted me actually about another cat that we were we were talking about. And uh, in the course of the conversation, um, the representative would tip my ear, you know, you have experience with long distance transport of animals. Let me tell you about um, a cat that's at Pasco County Animal Services right now and see if you might be able to help. And then, of course, when she told me the, the story, um, it, I, we knew that it was just something we, we had to help. We had to make it happen. Um, so the story was that um, there was a customer at a KFC restaurant in Pasco County that uh, noticed a pet carrier by the dumpster and walked over to it, checked it out, and found an adult white cat trapped inside the carrier at the dumpster. Um, so this customer picked it up and carried it to Animal Services where they scanned it for the microchip and contacted Janice. And um, so as soon as Tip My Ear told me about it um, and connected me with Janice, we got to work. We set up a fundraiser real quick to cover the travel expenses and uh, our, our followers on social media are great. They stepped up within 12 hours. We had enough to cover the transport up there. And uh, we have a volunteer who loves to participate in these. And so I, I gave her a call and asked her if she was up to, up to a trip to New Hampshire. <laughs> and she said, I haven't been to New Hampshire before. So yeah, well, do you need me to go? <laughs> 
<laughs> what an amazing story. And Janice, how did that feel? Because we saw a video of you greeting the handler, bringing Steve uh, home to you. What was that like? Oh, it was just surreal, heartwarming, tear jerking, <laughs> you name it, all, all the emotions that you could feel. Um, and she was just such an amazing woman. And I just was so, so thankful to everybody and so thankful to have my kitty back and really, and yeah, Steve just remembers everything. He, we got him home and he remembers every nook and cranny of this house, <laughs> all of his favorite little spots to go and lay. And it's like he never left. Isn't that amazing? So, what a miracle. I mean, 1400 mile miracle. That's what I call this <laughs> because it truly was after so many years, over four years, and then your two paths cross and you are able to get your baby back home. What a miracle. Well, we cannot thank you enough. And I believe this is an incredible story to share with our viewers. And for all of those of you who have joined in, um, check out the entire story and the videos on Real Time Animal Rescue. You can go to our YouTube channel, hit subscribe, never miss a shout out or a red alert. And will you, Janice, give us follow up videos on Steve oh, yeah. and how he's doing? <laughs> I sure will. I have tons already. <laughs> Thank you so much. We love it. Thank you. And Fluffy, thank you for your dedication to what you do with Save Our Strays in Tampa, Florida. Janice, hugs to you and your family. Enjoy your beautiful weekend coming up. And thank you for sharing with us. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.